Hey guys, Tiju22 here, and uh, welcome to another episode of the Tales of Tiju22, and I believe this is going to be episode 3. Uh, now, I just want to say it's uh, kind of funny doing a video, I haven't done one in a long time, aside from uh, a few uh, hockey videos, but this is just to pass the time, and uh, and to be quite honest with you, well... Before I get ahead of myself, I'm just going to start off the episode by saying uh, uh, welcome to the episode of uh, Tales of Tiju 22. Uh, really, I wanted to do this as a, a compliment to what I was doing up until I got uh, robbed. And you guys pretty much know the deal, but for those of you that are new, that are that have just subscribed to me and have no idea what's going on, uh, not too long ago, I was robbed, my house was robbed, and, um, most of the important stuff that I had was taken, and as a result, I haven't been able to make Let's Plays, let alone wrestling videos, uh, that I was doing, uh, up to that point. Now, I will say that, um, well, uh, since then, I've, uh, I do want to say thank you to uh, the people at Much Games Guides for even sending a Wii. And while it came with a few games, it didn't come with the games I was uh, doing. And even if it did, uh, I still need to get a new computer. And uh, I'll talk about more about that in a little bit. But I do want to say that I do want to thank Much Games Guides for that. I also want to thank uh, all the viewers that have uh, supported me through this ordeal. I want to say thank you to all of you guys for your support. It really means a lot to me, and it really does. And uh, I understand that uh, it's a bit late from where I am, like where I live, but I, I just wanted to make this video to get a couple of things off my chest. And... Uh, in fact, if I sound any different, it's because, well, it's kind of late, and, you know, and, and then plus I do, you know, we all get old, like, uh, age-wise, but I do want to say that, um, you know, ever since I got robbed, it, as well as a little bit of what happened today, and I'm, I'm not going to go too far into detail about it, but I'm just going to say that uh, it's changed my life. And although I might have lost uh, some stuff, and uh, hang on a second. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I was kind of interrupted a little bit by uh, Mrs. Tju, which for those of you that are new or don't know, uh, Mrs. Tju is my my mother. I'm Tju 22. Uh, my dad is simply is the original Tju, and I just ha I just so happened to have uh, you know taken his name. And instead of being to Jew tw and instead of being to Jew two, I just decided to become to Jew twenty two because that's how old I was when I was um, when I first got the account. I figured it just has a nice ring to it, anyways. But that's beside the point. The point is, you know what has happened to me and what has happened to my family and what has happened a little bit of what happened today has. Uh, you know, it, it it just makes you stop and think about what has happened up to this point and what happened up to that point and, you know, what is happening right now. And uh, you just think about everything that has happened. And, you know, I'm one of those people that, you know, I don't believe so much in karma. I mean, I believe in the old saying, do unto others that you would have done unto you. Or 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 treat people the way you want to be treated, or something like that, or or I don't know. I mean, it, it's kind of like that. But I I do believe that not so much in fate. I mean, fate is kind of strong, and uh, I I don't want to say I believe in it, but it, it, I mean it has uh, an underlying purpose, but it's. Just that, an underlying purpose. But I do believe that when good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people, at some point it will correct itself. And 
you know, what happened to us, as far as my family, like, me, like, Tiju22, as well as the guy behind Tiju22, which is, well, the guy you're listening to right now, as well as, you know, my family, and... You really think about it, or I at least I do, but if you think about it, if you if I was, like, if you were in my shoes, I would think, I, I, I thought that, um, you know, you, you, you kind of realize that, um, you, you know, as far as Blue Toad, or not Blue Toad, but uh, I'm trying to get the words out. In my case, I've uh, I've had a lot of success, and in no small part to somebody that I believe in. And in case you didn't know, I am a Christian. Like I believe in the the Bible, like you know, like God and like the Holy Bible. And uh, despite whatever your personal feelings may be on this whole on, on that, I just want to say. Uh, I, I, you know, sometimes I, I'm, I'm going to, I'll be will, mil, I'm going to be willing to admit I am not a saint. I'm probably the furthest thing from it, but I will say that, you know, another, th- another saying is that the cream is that the cream always rises to the top. And that was, uh, I think it was, uh, the macho man randy savage i'm not sure who said it the very first like i don't i don't know who came up with the saying but the cream always rises to the top and i will admit um i'm not always the best at what i do i may not always be the talent the most talented but when it comes to the very best you know, in different areas, and like whether it be YouTube or even in real life, the best always rise to the top, and and the same could be said about you know um, uh, what is it karma? Like, for example, like what happened to the person that stole from us. Like, while we haven't been able to prove that the person that we suspect uh, had our stuff was indeed our neighbors, I don't know if it was really them, but they were in, but they did admit to receiving stolen goods. Now, whether they did it or not, that's, that's still, uh, uh, the jury's still out on that, but, uh, and that's another thing I wanted to talk about was the trial that took place uh, this past Monday, or... I believe it was Ju- July 21st of this year. Um, what happened was, uh, you know, the, the the guy that has... I'm just going to say this. Uh, the neighbor... Now, uh, again, we have not been able to prove that, it, that he did steal. But the fact that he admitted to stealing, or not stealing, receiving stolen goods, and that... He did, in fact, mess up the car, like my my dad's Jeep, which is, well, rest in peace, it's dead. I mean, it, it's it's broken beyond repair, and, uh, and for that, we do need a new car. In fact, um, before I get to that point, yeah, he did admit to receiving stolen goods, and he did admit to wrecking the car. Now, we still have not been able to prove that he stole, and if at pa- and if anything, we don't even know if anybody else was involved, like whether it be family, friends, stuff like that. Uh, we still have to find out. But in the meantime, uh, what it means is, and this is where I get back to, um, you know, uh, trying to get a new car. Now, as far as getting a new car is simply using the reimbursement check that we got from, uh, you know, like from our insurance and stuff like that. And uh, that does not even come from 
the family or the or the a guy, or the guy that had been uh, previously known as a thief. Now, again, we haven't been able to prove that he did do it, but of course, if he did, it's only going to add to how much he and his family are going to have to pay us for everything that had happened. Now, insurance is a little, it's kind of like, as far as the insurance check that we got, I'm not going to stay, state how much we got, but I will say that a portion of it is going to be used to buy a new car, which is what we need, because, well, like, without it, we won't, like, without one, it's, it's an inconvenience to have one car less than what we had. I'm just going to say it right now. Uh, not just for me, but mainly for my dad, since it was really his Jeep to begin with, and it's now dead. So, uh, I'll, I'll get, I'll, uh, as soon as, you know, we take care of some stuff like that, and, and, and anything else that comes up, we'll, we'll let, I'll let you guys know about it, but right now, uh, we're still in the process of trying to find a car, and that's pretty much what it is, really. And then, uh, of course, the remainder of the check will go to buying a new computer and uh, and then a few games and uh, other stuff like that. And that does not even count. that The check that we get, that we got, that's from the insurance. It's not from the family. So there's still more to come, but I'm not going to, you know, you know I'm not going to rest easy just because of that, you know. That's the uh, one 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 thing I learned over in in the twenty six plus years that I've been alive. I've learned not to assume because when you assume, uh, and the old saying is, when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. And I would I would be able to I I, I would love to uh, put a graphic there to show you what I mean, but. You'll just have to take my word for it. When you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. Uh, but... So I don't want to assume, okay? That's just that's just the bottom line. Be it me or the viewers, which is you. But... Um, but anyways. So yes. Uh, we do have yet another trial. Uh, coming up. Until then, I don't know what's going to happen. All I know is... Uh, we'll find out uh, about the restitution, because we haven't gotten to that point yet, apparently. I mean, then again, this is the first time that we are participating in a trial like this uh, in the audience. We're not actually in the uh, front line of the defense or or the prosecution or whatever. I mean, that is that is what it is, you know. So with that said, uh, that's pretty much the trial uh, as it is. Now, as I mentioned before, we got the check from the ins from the insurance. That does not mean that we got the check from uh, the family or the person that did it to us. Now, I mean that's probably yet to come. Uh, and you know they were instructed, or in fact, they actually they were willing to try to help us get some stuff back like as you know provided it it's provided it is in its original condition so i'll be shocked if i get my computer back cuz i have half a charger still here with me which is what's left of it so i'll be surprised if i even get uh my computer back but i highly doubt it at this point really and really the only computer i'm using is my parents so I so even if I wanted to record videos, I probably couldn't. In fact, I even tried to uh, put like the uh, like the da the Pinnacle Studio, which comes with the Dazzle. I even tried to install it, and I couldn't do it. At least not without an external, uh, not a hard drive, but uh, a CD drive. You know, like where you put a CD in, and you can listen to music or. Or if you were on iTunes, you can, like, uh, put your uh, musical files in there. Like, you know, that sort of stuff. Well, e even I couldn't do that. I mean, at least not without one. And uh, and even if I 
but then I thought to myself, well, it is a rather, it's not an old, old computer, but it's, it's, it was older than, uh, my computer, I'll just say that. I mean, it still works nicely, but if I add, it, but if I install a couple of programs, it probably would be as slow as a snail. So, that's probably why I decided against it, ultimately. So, uh, let's see, what else? Well, as far as what has happened today, I'm not going to go too far into it, but, uh, I did learn, you know, you know, you know, life has a way of teaching you some valuable lessons, and, you know, I'm just going to say this to the viewers. Uh, when it comes to life, life is going to teach you a lot of valuable lessons, and and I have learned to appreciate what I have, and to, you know, not take anything for granted. And that's something that... I've learned, and that, and that most people, like, and that you guys ought to learn. I mean, you gotta appreciate what you have, because if you don't, it's like, you never don't, you don't know what you have until it's gone, and it happened to me, and it could happen to you, so just remember that. But I did mention before that, yes, I am a Christian, and, and I, I will admit, I'm not a saint, like, I'm probably the furthest thing from one, but I will say that, you know, you got to believe in something. You got to believe in a higher power. You know, you got to believe, I mean, sure, you got to believe in yourself, but that's probably not the number one thing you should do, but you got to believe in yourself, of course, to an extent, not to the point where you begin to worship yourself. Uh, that's something that I, I will admit, I gotta tone it down a little bit as far as that is concerned, at least for my sake. But I will say that, you know, you gotta believe in a higher power. And, uh, whether you believe it or not, uh, that is not up to, to me to for you to believe because, well, I'm not gonna shove it down your throats, is what I'm trying to get at. But I also want you to respect the fact that I do look to a higher power and, you know, and like I said, despite whatever your personal feelings may be on it, I just want you to respect me, and in turn, I will respect you for, you know, who you are, and I just want, and I'm, I'm not going to, um, you know, like, in, in terms of people that I know, I'm not going to reveal anything. In fact, if, it, it's up to them whether they want to reveal anything that they believe, you know, whether I, whether I agree with it or not, that's not up to me. You know, it's like, like, yeah, I might have it on the back of my mind, but I'm not going to prosecute you for it. I'm not going to persecute you for it. So, you know, whatever it is that you believe, believe it. You know, that's why, you know, that's where the whole, uh, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not talking about Naruto where he says, believe it. Like, no, I'm not talking about Naruto. I'm talking about believing in something that's bigger than yourself. You know? And and whatever it is that you believe, you got to believe it with all your heart. Well, as or as mu it, it depends what it is that you believe. I mean, it, it, it kind of varies in what you believe. But, but I believe uh, that when it's all said and done... I will be back, but I will be wiser, you know, you know, and, and I'm going to take, you know, steps, you know, I'm going to take this step by step when it, like, as soon as I get stuff that I can, you know, like whether it is a new computer and, you know, games and stuff like that, like, I'm going to take this one step at a time and I'm not going to try to rush it and, you know, and, and and as far as what videos I made, and what videos I will make uh, as soon as I get back at 100%, you know, I, I, I've said this many times, I loved, I, well, I loved 
and I still love what I do as far as making videos because I mentioned this once and I will mention this again. If I didn't love what I was doing, like if I, if I didn't love making videos as much as I did as I do now, I would not be here. I, pr I would probably be doing something else and I mean at, at some point I might have to do something else, you know, for the sake of, you know, paying the bills and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, I have money, but it's not a lot, but at least it keeps food on the table and you know, I, I, and and I do support my parents and stuff like that, but I'm just going to say that you got to love what you do. You know, if what you do is, you know, as long as it's legal and it uh, doesn't hurt anybody, when it comes to what you do, you got to love what you do. And if you don't, well, do something that you love. You know, and if what you love is something you love to do, do it and do it with passion. And nothing, uh, nothing kills what you love to do without passion. Like, without passion, you just, it, it would just fall flat. And, uh, and I will say, uh, in the days, you know, I, I, I will say that, uh, ever since what has happened, you know, the passion's kind of gone, but, I also have to realize it wasn't my fault that what happened happened and it's not out of my control. But I have to have the same passion then or now as I have as I had then, you know, before all this happened if I want to continue and I just want to say thank you guys so much for your support over the years and I will get back. And if anything happens, I'll let you guys know. Uh, until then... Oh, right, I should also talk about something else. Um, uh, I'll just answer this really quickly, and... Uh, you know, and th this will just be an end note. I, I'm, I, I would be remiss if I didn't answer this, so... I'll just answer one quick question... And then uh, I'll leave the, and then I'll end the video, and then you guys can tell me what you want me to talk about in the next episode because I only got one question uh, to talk about it, but I didn't really have much to say about it since it would kind of be a bit too short. So I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. So here it is. Uh, my best friend Truhu82 he asked me if Nintendo didn't exist, what would I be playing? Well, to be honest with you, if it didn't exist, I, I would think Sega would have won. Uh, seriously, like, if, if say I don't even, heck, I, if without Nintendo, I don't even think there would be a video game industry to begin with. I mean, if, if, if Nintendo went out of business, like, what, when the Xbox and the PlayStation 2 came out? Or actually, yeah, if it had died in the 2000s, I probably would be uh, a PlayStation guy because that's the only other system I had at one time or another. So yeah, I would probably be a PlayStation guy. But if it if Nintendo didn't exist, there would not even be a video game industry. In fact, there wouldn't even be a, a Let's Play business to begin with. And I would probably be doing something else. And what it would be, I don't know. But I'm just thankful that it's kept me out of trouble. So, yeah, ultimately, without Nintendo, there would not be a Let's Play business. I'm just going to say that. And um, if you want me to expand on this uh, subject as far as um, the impact of Nintendo, uh, leave a comment about that. If you want me to, you know, talk about something else in the next episode, I will. But until then, this is your host, Jew 22 signing off saying goodbye, and uh, see you later. And guys, I'm going to be alright, and I'll be back. But until then, I just want to say thank you for your support. But for everybody else, have a great day, take good care of yourselves, and I really do mean this. And uh, best of luck 
in all of your future endeavors. Until then, Tichu22 out.